Hi there, my name is Kirsten Jones. I'm your Rock On Business Leader. I'm so excited that you decided to come play with us and have fun and join our team and see what this Tupperware gig thing is all about. I'm so excited. Uh, a brand new um, starter kit has just landed on your porch and you have all this stuff and you don't know what to do with it. So we're gonna open one together. We're gonna talk about it so you know what to do with all this exciting stuff you just got, okay? So the box looks like this, it's so exciting. I literally have a brand new box right here, okay? So let's see what's inside. Let's do this together. So, oh my gosh, you got a kit bag. And you gotta carry your fun stuff around in a new kit bag, right? It's so cute, do you love it? I mean, this would even be a great um, reusable grocery tote for going to the grocery store and, you know, um, bringing your own bags and saving the world one bag at a time, right? But for now, we're gonna put our starter kit in it because, you know, once you have more stuff, you might upgrade to a bigger bag and do some fun things like that. But for now, this is what this is gonna be and it's adorable. So you need that, right? Okay, what's in here? Oh my gosh, where should we start? Oh, there's a knife. Ooh, we love the knives. So these are our, um, this is a, oh my gosh, look at this. This is a chef knife. These are our universal series. This is a fantastic knife. It's crazy sharp. That's why we have the little sleeve because we don't want anybody hurting themselves. So it's nice to have this sleeve since you can put this in the drawer and um, nobody can stick their hands in there and cut themselves, which is really good. <laughs> um, you're going to love this knife. Pull it out and start chopping things. Like, Love, love, love this knife. Everybody needs a really good knife in your kitchen and you just got one, so that's exciting. Um, what else do we have in here? Oh my goodness, silicone spatula. Okay, so this is, I have used many spatulas in my history of life. And this is by far my most favorite spatula I have ever used, ever. It is definitely silicone. Um, it's made ergonomic, so it's made to, um, it fits just perfectly in your hand. Um, I was at my mom's house one time and she had this metal silicone spatula and it had two bars right here and I grabbed it and was doing this. My hand just started cramping up and that's because it wasn't ergonomic. So it's always really important to have ergonomic things in your kitchen because we only get one set of hands and when we injure them, they don't necessarily fix, right? They're going to stay injured for forever sometimes and we don't want to do that. So you want perfect things in your kitchen that are made to help your hands and these are perfect for your hands. You'll start using this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, they're the perfect level of some spatulas are too stiff and some are too wobbly and which one is it it's the perfect it's freestanding for spaghetti you like that um and it's the perfect stiff or wobbly basically it will scrape down bowls wonderfully but it'll also chop at meat it'll flip eggs it'll stir oatmeal i've used it in my fondue pot you can make candy with it you literally can do whatever you want with this um you're gonna find that you need more of these for your kitchen but one is definitely a good start um, I don't like to hand wash, so I have, I think, five or six of these in my kitchen now because every time they're all in my dishwasher, and my dishwasher runs once a day, um, if I'm going to have to hand wash one because they're all dirty, then I go get another one until I have the perfect amount of them. And I'm right at, I think, five or six of them. That's how many is perfect for my kitchen. But that should tell you how much I use it. I literally use it every single day, all day long, for everything. Love it. Love it. Okay. Um, oh, my gosh. This is so... So this is some of our... This is one of our utensils. I love this one because it doesn't hurt nonstick. It doesn't hurt our Ultra Pro, it doesn't hurt our silicone. So it doesn't hurt anything, but it's stiff. So like the bottom of this, see how it's kind of flat on the bottom? Um, it's really nice for like when I make brownies in our Ultra Pro and I can't cut at it, but I can take this and I can cut lines perfectly. I actually love that it's flat because I can scrape the bottom. So if I'm making soup or something, I can make sure I get everything down at the bottom, especially if it's a soup that stuff tends to settle at the bottom. Can really get everything i just really really love this all of our utensils are amazing you're going to want the full set but this is definitely a good way to start um what else is in here oh gosh um so you're going to come with some sales aids and these may not be exactly the sales aids you get because they kind of change as they go on but these are our citrus peelers and these are definitely um, what you're going to use at your party to play some fun games i play ask me a question about my job i stop in the very middle of the party and i play ask me a question about my job I don't do it at the beginning of the party and I don't do it at the end. At the beginning of the party, they came to hear about Tupperware and they're not, if you start with asking me a question about my job, you're gonna scare them. If you do it at the end, they're ready to go home. They want you to total the order so they can go home. But in the middle, um, the brain is processing information, you're talking about product and you can stop and say, we're gonna stop and play a fun game where everybody gets a prize. Do you want a free prize? And they always go, yeah, and I go, okay. Because the, there's only winners at my parties, no losers, okay? So I have a free gift for everybody. And what I'd like you to do is ask me a question about my job. You can ask me any question you want. There's no questions off limits. You just can't ask me about product for a second. We're gonna take a break from product 
and ask me a question about my job. And then I just, as they ask me questions about my job, I just hand them a citrus peeler as I answer it. If somebody gets stuck, and sometimes they will, they'll say, I don't have a question. I'll say, oh my gosh, ask me how much it costs to get started. And they go, how much does it cost to get started? And I go, what a good question. And I hand them the citrus peeler and I answer it. And they laugh, I think that's so cute and funny. And I, if somebody else is stuck, I'll say, do you need help with a question? And they go, yeah. And I go, ask me um, how much money I can make. And they go, how much money can you make? And I go, what a good question. And then I give them a citrus peeler. You know, so you can play with people, have fun. You're also listening to the people that are asking questions and you're paying attention because your next new team member is in that room. You just don't know which one it is. I can kind of figure out who I should talk to more based on the questions that they ask. And I will even say like, that's a really smart question. That's one of the questions I asked before I started. So I think you should be on my team or you and I should talk later or you can say fun things like that. And they're like, oh, she thinks I'm smart. Oh, I like it, right? Um, so anyway, citrus peelers, that's what they're the best for. Ask me a question about my job. These are the best. Um, so it's exciting that you have those because those are gonna help you party for sure. Um, fridge smart. So everybody needs fridge smart in their life and especially in their kitchen. Um, and if you don't have Fridge Smart yet, um, you're definitely going to want to make sure you demo Fridge Smart. Uh, it's not on sale very often, and that's perfect because it's a great reason. Everybody needs it, and everybody needs at least two sets. So it's a great reason to host a party because you're always going to want to demo. Here's what's on sale. Here's what you. Here's why you'd want to join my team. Here's what you can have a party for to get for free and half price, right? Um, and and here's a fun game. I usually play a game at the end of the party to book a party. Fridge Smarts, here's what you're going to use your free hostess, free or half price hostess credit. It, um, this is why you want to book a party to get Fridge Smart. So, um, so why you want to, you know, that's why you want to demo it. So here's what I would say to somebody uh, about Fridge Smart, and that is, um, did you know that the average American household throws away 80% of the produce that they buy? And they're going to gasp, and I'm like, I think I bent the curve. I think I was even more than 80 because I came home with the best intentions, right? We're gonna eat healthy and I buy all this produce and I put it in the fridge, but you know, we're gonna eat healthy, but not tonight because I just grocery shop and I'm tired, I'll do it another night. And once it goes in the fridge, I open it up and go, eh, not tonight, eh, not tonight, right? And then once it starts growing green, I toss it and I put new produce in because that's what you do, right? So fruits and vegetables breathe and they breathe differently. You have heavy breathers, medium breathers, and low breathers. There's a cool little chart on the top and a heavy breather, you're gonna open it to the open circle, that's heavy. Um, closed, if it's a closed circle, that's low, and the half circle is medium, right? Um, a little trick for the Fridge Smart is that if you take, the lids all say Tupperware, and if you take the word Tupperware and you turn it so that it, you can read the word Tupperware while you're looking at the little chart on the front, if you do that, when you slide the vent, it matches the chart on the front of the Tupperware. So. That's the best way to put the lids on. If you teach your customers that, it's very helpful. These particular lids are sometimes a little bit dicey to see that, um, just because the color is the same color. So if you teach them that trick, they don't have to see. They can just look at it and go, oh, well, have, uh, medium breathing's over on the left-hand side, so I'm gonna scoot it over there, or low breathing's in the middle, or heavy breathing's on the right, and you can just see it by the chart. Much easier to read. Um, um, Tupperware is gonna tell you that these um, double the life of your produce. I'm gonna tell you they always double, sometimes even triple. Um, they're, they're kind of amazing. Like I get four weeks out of broccoli, I get two and a half weeks out of strawberries and grapes, which all of those things last just a couple days, it's crazy. I think broccoli maybe lasts seven or eight days, not in Fridge Smart. Um, how they work is they, they breathe appropriately and then they have a cool um, ridged base on them that keeps the fruits and vegetables up out of the moisture. So the combination of sitting correctly in there and breathing appropriately is what makes them work so well. Everybody needs at least a full set if not two sets, I would say usually two sets. So this is a great reason to host a party, all right? So you wanna definitely show the Fridge Smart and showcase and really talk to, I'd rather you don't buy this today, I'd rather you use this as your free or half price to book a party. Um, so what else is in here? Oh my gosh, so much fun stuff. Um, we have freezer containers and these are my favorite freezer containers that Tupper has ever had. And in my history of selling Tupper, and I've been selling for a little while, um, they probably had, I don't even know, four or five different kinds of freezer containers. And they've all been fine. I mean, they work fine in the freezer. These are my absolute favorite, and I'm not just saying that. Um, I love this pretty color lid. I love the way these lids go on. I like the way that they're designed. With any Tupperware container, you're always gonna start, see there's a little lip. You always wanna do the area where the lip is last. So you wanna start opposite the lip. So I would put this lid on on the bottom corner. 
and then I would go around the side corners and I would end at the lip. That's the best way to put them, them on so that they go on appropriately. Okay. You'll notice the bottom of these freezer containers have a ridge and the lid has a ridge. The bottom fits perfectly in the ridge so they sit and mod very modular in your freezer or your refrigerator. They have um, snowflakes on them because they're designed for the freezer. That's what they're designed for. And the reason why, that's what the snowflakes are designed to tell you. And they're wobbly so you can pop things out of them. So if you freeze something and it freezes hard as a rock, you can just pop it right out, which is wonderful. Um, I love these for your refrigerator just as much as I do your freezer. And I know um, there's lots of different refrigerator containers, but these are not made to go in the microwave. So if you want a microwave, you want to get our vent and serve because that's the premier containers that are made specifically for the microwave. But these are... Um, just, I love the modular space. I love how they use, how the lids go on. I love how they stack. And so I use them in the fridge. I use them. There's even a smaller one that's about half the size. I use these for everything like pineapple chunks, like a half a can of pineapple chunks or a half a can of olives or some salsa. The half size is perfect one batch of salsa. Um, you can buy sour cream um, or mayonnaise at Costco and get the big thing and put it in the garage and then put half a size container in the fridge where this is the size we're going to use in the house, but in the garage we'll put the big containers. Um, hummus, um, sandwiches that are cut up, half sandwiches. There's lots of things in life that we're not going to microwave, but we put in the refrigerator. These are great for that. They're also amazing for the freezer. So any kind of chicken nuggets or tater tots or peas or berries or things like that, these are going to organize your freezer really, really well. Um, you put a freezer label on here and say what they are and they're just they're going to be amazing. You're going to love them. So I'm super stoked about these. Excited that these are the ones that we have. Um, some other sales sizes you're going to get to help you with your party is um, right now what's coming in there. But you might get a different set of these, but in case these are the ones you get, I'll talk to these. These are our flour sugar scoops. And why they're amazing is because you can turn them like this in the flour and hit them and they'll go down and they take up no space in your flour or your sugar container but they scoop nicely. They will scoop out a pumpkin if you if it's pumpkin season and you wanna carve a pumpkin and you can scoop out all the seeds out of that, all the gunky stuff out. Um, they're just really nice. These are really nice to use as a hostess thank you gift. Like, thank you for hosting my party. I'm so excited to have you. You're gonna need lots of these. So every time, I wanna give you one of these as my host because I wanna give you gifts. And every time you come to one of the next parties and you buy a modular mate, I'm gonna give you another one because you're gonna need several in your in your pantry to leave in your containers. But we're gonna start off with one today. Just thank you for being here. So there's things like that that you can say. So then you you want her to come back to her friends' parties and if she knows that every time she shows up, um, you're gonna hand her one of these and oh my gosh, I love my past host. Here's a gift for you. Oh, thank you. So these are, these are a great way to kind of give a nice little gift for that as well. And they also go really nicely in, if you're trying to do a little drawing bag and you can put it, you know, a past dating gift and a, and a, um, and a flower sugar scoop and a funnel. That's just a really nice little gift bag if you want to do a drawing for a gift bag. Um, see, it's high value, but your cost is really low. So those are great kind of tools for that. Um, we also have a modular mate. You know, I love those modular mates, right? This is for your pantry. Um, this keeps your flour, your sugar, your chips, your brown sugar, your powdered sugar, your cereal, your oatmeal, your anything you put in your pantry fresh it organizes it these are legos for ladies um you, you're gonna put your stuff in here and you're gonna like never throw away pantry goods again it's amazing so these are so useful in just not throwing things away and in having a nice organized kitchen and pantry which is super nice love our modular mates love 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 um if you want a video on how to demonstrate modular mates we have several of them on the team site and you can you can search modular mates you can search legos for ladies you can search pantry pantry organization and um, within our team page and you're going to find all kinds of videos on how to do just a custom kitchen or how to use pantries but or, I'm sorry how to use pantries to build your business there's some really good ideas for that but definitely you could even um, for your parties your home parties you can put crackers in here and let them just sit and then you can take one cracker out and pass it around the party and say everybody take a bite or take a crack off of it excuse me um and, um, excuse me, I like to tell, um, I like to tell people how many days those crackers have been in there. So if it's like saltines, I'd be like, how was that saltine? Cause that's been in here 42 days. What did you think? Does it seem fresh? So that's another, um, great way that you can, um, you know, just showcase what these are and how amazing they are. Cause saltines go stale like in one day after you pull them out, no matter what you put them in. But in modular mates, they stay fresh cause there's really nothing worse 
nothing worse than being sick and wanting chicken noodle soup and I always want saltine crackers in my chicken noodle soup and I go to put the saltine crackers in and they're stale. I'm sick. I don't want to go to the store and get more. So modular mains. That's your answer. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, some more freezer containers. Oh, this is so exciting. I love these freezers. I'm not, I can't, I just can't say enough about how much I love them. What a great size, huh? What a great size. This is going to be your, I would probably put frozen corn in here or some chicken nuggets or some frozen berries or, you know, whatever other frozen things you have in here. Pizza pockets. I mean, I don't know, burritos, whatever you put in here. Um, you can home make, um, breakfast sandwiches. There is actually, um, on our team page, you can search on that and there's a, um, instructional on how to make homemade breakfast sandwiches and you could put four of those in here and have them ready to go so you can pull it out and put it in the microwave they're frozen Wouldn't that be nice and you're not buying expensive ones and you're also having ones that you know what's in them when you just need a breakfast on the go you can have a homemade breakfast sandwich Isn't that a good idea um what else have we got oh we've got some measuring cups and some measuring spoons why are tupperware's measuring cups and measuring spoons better than the ones you can buy at the store well let me tell you that's because ours come with extras. They come with a two-thirds cup and a three-quarter cup, and that's not standard. So when you go to the store and buy measuring cups and measuring spoons, they don't come with a three-quarter cup or a two-thirds um, two cup. Our measuring spoons come with a quarter of a teaspoon and a half of a tablespoon that are extra. These all pop together. You push them down and they push together. There's not a, um, a circle band thing around these, and the reason why I ring is because Maybe you just want to wash one and have an, and you don't want to have the entire ring of them in the dishwasher at the same time. There's nothing more frustrating than needing your measuring spoons and they're in the dishwasher, right? And you need them for dry goods. So you got to take them off, take them out of the dishwasher. You got to wash them really good. You got to dry them, dry them, dry them because you're putting them down in flour or sugar and you don't want it to stick. So love, love, love these. These are amazing. But a quarter of a teaspoon, the one, one of the ones that's extra, is is so nice because that is in so many recipes and it's really hard to get half of a half of a teaspoon which is what y'all try to do right disaster and a half of a tablespoon is really nice because sometimes a tablespoon is one of the ones we use over and over and over and it's in the dishwasher a lot so if it's in the dishwasher you can just get the half of a tablespoon and do two and then you'll have another tablespoon see isn't that the best measuring cups like i said two thirds and three quarters why is that nice it means you don't have to do fraction math i know you're welcome. So if it calls for two thirds, you don't, uh, if it, you know, you're tripling the recipe, you don't have to sit there and try to figure it out, right? You can just take two thirds and do it three times. You're welcome. <laughs> so those are really great as well. Love those. Um, comes with a couple of our spice containers. Um, I think this is perfect for your salt and pepper. If you just want to do that, put some salt and pepper in here. Did you all know that, you know, you buy pepper and the first time you open that container, you, um, you sneeze and then you hardly ever sneeze after that. You know why that is? It's because most pepper containers are not airtight. So when you put it in, not Tupperware of course, but when you put it in something else and the air holes are just letting all the air out, then the pepper, which is also a spice, is not airtight. So um, it's not making you sneeze anymore when you use it. And that's kind of a telltale sign. We've got these great holes that are actually really good for coarse ground pepper. It'll actually let them out. They're bigger than normal. You can kind of see that. Um, and they have this great other side for, for your spices. And here is something kind of cool I'll just show you. They've got a flat edge on the top, so when you put it in here and dip in the spice, you can level it off. You don't have to stand going, tink, 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 and shoot spice everywhere. I know, right? So exciting. So you get two of those. That's really nice. Um, these are also great, um, and you could throw them in a can. And if you're a person that likes to camp, I personally am not. I think camping is preparing to be homeless, and I choose to have a home. But if you're a camping person, <laughs> I love you anyway. It's okay. We can get along still. Um, if you are that person, um, people that camp, they usually have like a container out in the garage that's got everything that they need for camping. They just leave it out there all winter and then in the summertime they pull it out and they use it. They usually have a salt and pepper out there. Well, because those are airtight, you can actually leave that out in your garage and then your salt and pepper will still be fresh for next summer, which is really nice. Spices last up to five years in those containers, where a spice in a normal jar when you pop it open lasts um, up to six months. So significant savings in your spice containers and your spices also allows you to buy in bulk. And by bulk, I don't mean Costco size. That's not bulk, that's just restaurant size and very large. But at a lot of the grocery stores nowadays, you can buy spices in bulk, which means you pay for how much you want. You just get the amount that you want. 
you can, with our spice containers, you're not paying for a jar. So you can just get the amount you want and put them in there and they stay fresh and they're a fraction of the cost. Like maybe I could fill that whole thing full of onion powder for 75 cents, maybe even less, probably more like 60 cents, right? And I'm not paying for a jar, I'm not filling landfills. It's just, you know, very exciting. Um, and then this is my favorite bowl of all time. And everybody's gonna be like, why is that your favorite bowl of all time? Well, I will tell you. It's my favorite bowl of all time because it's the That's a Junior Bowl. And here's why I love it. It's pretty. I mean, that's not really the <laughs> I do love that. It's not really the reason, but I love it because it's pretty. I love it because it's exactly the right size for the things in life that I want. Okay, it's got the two tabbed openings. So it's really easy to open. It has the little thumb hole. And you might not think you need the thumb hole because for the big one you need it because you're going to sit there and go like this and, you know, mix things and you just need to hold on tight. This is actually really nice because this is a double batch of waffles or a double batch of pancakes. So if you make them on Saturday morning and you do a double batch, you can a lot of times put the lid on and still use it for Sunday morning as well. Unless you have four kids like me and then the double batch is what you actually just use for everybody. Um, I love this because this is my, oh, what's the word? I call it my smut show bowl like that. Everybody has a guilty poison. You have one show that you watch that like you don't really admit out loud that you watch. Yeah, I know. I'm coming at you. <laughs> you have it. When you watch that show, it's because in life you just want to check out for a little bit. You want to watch some just empty nonsense because you just kind of want to check out. You don't want to think. This bowl is what you need for eating while watching said show. Here's why. Let's say you're eating salad. You can just put the salad in here and you can just sit and go like this and you have a spewing radius of quite a ways around your mouth, right? So now you don't have to think about, you can just watch the show and let the food fly. It's fantastic. You can eat popcorn and let the popcorn kind of fly and it lands perfectly. You can eat ice cream and let the ice cream fly and just be, let it drip, like whatever. It's just, see, it's just perfect. I love this bowl. Um, it's also, it's a great, I mean, just in general, it's a great salad bowl because I can kind of mix up the salad and then still eat it. Um, I find that, of all the bowls in my kitchen, this one gets used probably if I was grabbing bowls 10 times, this would get grabbed eight out of the 10 times. I now have three or four of this one, this particular size, that's how often I use it. Love this bowl. So it's very exciting that you get that in your kit. You get my very favorite size. So exciting. Um, let's see what else is in here. Oh, I love these, these are so pretty. So you know when you wanna set something out that's pretty but you want it to be functional too? We have something for you. These are clearly elegant. I love these. They look like glass, but they function like plastic. Isn't that wonderful? So they're clear and they're pretty. Um, you can put it out at Thanksgiving and put, I don't know, what things do you put out? Like, um, is it cranberries? Um, cram the, you know, the canned cranberries or whatever. You could put corn in it. You could put stuffing in it. You could put anything you want to be pretty, you could put in it. Um, and you put this out at Thanksgiving and it looks pretty. So it matches no matter what dishes you have out, it matches, which is quite nice. But, um, but um, it's functional, so you can make something the night before or when Thanksgiving's over or whatever you happen to be having people over for, you can put the lid on and put it back in the refrigerator. You don't have this glass bowl that you, is breakable and that you um, have to clean up and you know find saran wrap or something for the lid. So it's got a lid, so it's, it's beautiful. You actually get a set of two in this starter kit, which is really, really nice. These are beautiful to take to a friend's house. People just ooh and all over these. They go, oh my gosh, those folds are so pretty. I know, I can get you some. So, love those. Oh, we're getting down to the end. I, can you believe how much stuff is in this kit? It's actually a value of over $450. Like, that's pretty amazing. That's a lot of tough work. That's a great reason to give this business a try, huh? Um, this is one of my all-time favorites. I have to just tell you, I love this. This is our Ultra Pro. We didn't have these for years and I was very, very sad. So I'm very tickled that A, we have them and B, you get one in your starter kit, which is so exciting. Um, this is Tupperware that is made to go in the oven. I know you're losing your mind right now. Like what? I know this is the one piece of Tupperware that goes everywhere. It's made to go to the fridge, the freezer, the microwave and the oven. Can you believe it? So you can actually pre-make a dinner, put it in the freezer and save it for when you want to Throw it straight from the freezer, which is really cold, and you can put it into the oven, which is kind of amazing. So it has a lid, which is also really nice. The lid doubles as another pan, so you actually can bake in that as well. So you could bake a casserole, and then you could have fingerling potatoes to go with it and have them side by side, which is kind of amazing. Um, 
or you can bake it as a lid. I mean, you can kind of do it as you want. It's the perfect brownie maker, which we love, 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 love. So anyway, I love the Ultra Pro. I'm so excited to have it. It's designed specifically to tandem bake. So if you're gonna make potatoes, you could actually start them in the microwave and speed up the cooking process and then put it straight into the oven, which really cuts down the cooking time and speeds everything up. So if there's anything that you know that the microwave um, speeds up the cooking process, you can start in the microwave and then move it to the oven. And that's called tandem cooking. That's what it's designed is for, but mostly I just love it. That's all, you should have it. And this is my favorite size. This and the lasagna pan are my two favorite sizes. So you're starting off with one of the best two sizes. First chance you get, get a lasagna pan because it's amazing as well. Um, and last but certainly not least is da -da -da, our Power Chef. Oh my gosh, are you going to ever have so much fun with this? This is like the best chopper ever. So um, comes with all these little attachments and utensils and fun things. I'm going to show them all to you. Um, it's the very last thing in this starter kit, and it's definitely a great reason to give this business a try because, you know, all of this Tupperware is yours. So if you if you tried it and decided that this wasn't for you, you would nobody's ever going to take this Tupperware away from you. It's all yours. I don't think you should try it and quit. I think you should try it and stay with us forever because we're so much fun, <laughs> and you might just fall in love, right? But this is definitely pretty amazing, and... This is, so it comes with a protective blade and you definitely want to hang on to that so when you're storing this blade and it's not in use, you don't cut yourself because this blade is wicked sharp. It needs to be sharp because it, that's how it cuts effectively, but you definitely need, um, need to protect yourself. So don't stick your hands on the blade, it's a bad idea. Okay, so the blade pops in there. It has a non-skid grid that pops in right here. I'm not gonna put it in right now because my hands are kind of full, but oh, well, maybe I will. Anyway, you pop this in and then when you put it on the countertop and you're chopping, it doesn't slide all over the counter, which by the way, is like one of the best features ever. Okay, so you put that on there. It comes with a whipper blade. This will whip cream or whip pudding faster than a KitchenAid. It's that amazing. So you would use that, in, I had one lady call me and say, she couldn't get the whipper blade to fit. And I'm, I asked her several questions and then I finally said, are you taking the chopper out first, blades out first? She goes, well, no. And I'm like, well, that's why it doesn't fit. So note to self, take chopper blades out to put whipper blades in. Um, then you're gonna put this little topper on right here. Okay, so it holds that in place. And then you got this little baby lid right here that just pops on, okay? So it's got little notches and you're just gonna wanna make sure there's a little um, circle thing in the middle. That has to go down into the top of this blade. If you don't line it up properly, when you go to pull it goes and it doesn't sound like it's doing it correctly. That's because these are not, this didn't make it into this hole. So you're gonna pop it in there, make sure it's in there appropriately, and then you pull. It will obliterate food. I mean, it's kind of amazing. You could actually throw um, veggies in there, you could throw potatoes in there, and homemade hash browns in just minutes. You can make salsa, you can make guacamole, you can make hummus. Oh, speaking of hummus, there's also a little flip right here, and this cool little funnel that you can pop in right here. So if you need to drizzle in some olive oil while you're chopping, you can do that with a little funnel. Isn't that so cute? Um, and then, um, let's see what's the last. Oh, and last but not least, it comes with a lid. So if you make some amazing salsa and you want to just pop it right in the fridge, you can actually take the chopper blade out and put the lid on and you can store in it. I don't actually recommend that because you're going to fall in love with this chopper and then it's going to be when you want to use it, it's going to be dirt in your fridge full of food and you're going to be sad. And we don't like sad people. So, <laughs> But, I mean, you've got a lid so you can do it if you want to, right? Um, you could actually, like if you're going to go to a friend's house and you want to bring all the salsa ingredients, you could put them inside here, put the lid on it, take them there, and then then put all the stuff in and chop it up. I mean, you can kind of do whatever you want with it. But this thing's amazing. This whole kit's amazing. Over $450 worth of product. I mean, are you ready to get started on this business and like show the world all this fun stuff? I think you are. I'm, I'm excited for you. I'm excited you decided to join our team. I um. My only advice to you is to definitely pull all this out and just start playing with it and using it and fall in love with it because when you fall in love with it, what people are going to hear from you is what you love and that's what they're going to, their excitement is contagious and they're going to fall in love with the same things you are because you told them your joy. So share your joy, share your love and go rock this business.